If you would like to be more organised, then stay tuned. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I get asked a lot how I maintain my art practice as well as working in a day job and I'm going to give you my tips of how I do that. Now this is not only just for artists but for anyone who wants to get more organised. In fact, I'm using these techniques to help my stepdaughter who needs to get organised for school. So let's get started. So at the beginning of each year I like to start with the overview. So I just use an Excel spreadsheet, I plug in the months from January to December and then I just do a very basic plan of what I know is going to be due that year. So for example, any art prizes I want to enter, any markets I want to be involved with, group exhibitions, etc. If I plug them all in, then if someone comes to me and says, oh, I'd like you to be part of this in April, then you can have a look at your spreadsheet and see if you've got enough time to fit that in. That's number one. If you want to delve a bit further, we'll head on to step number two. Step two is to organize the month. So again, I'm using an Excel spreadsheet. You can use the calendar function of Excel. And then month by month, first I plug in what days I have off, public holidays, just so I know what time I have to get things done. Then I can plan out day by day when I want to do certain things to achieve my goals. So for example, I have a tapestry due in April, then I will plug in every week to make sure I get so many hours of work done so that I can get that piece finished by then. That way as well, you're not leaving some things to the last minute because you're concentrating on other things. So for me, I have two parts of my business. I do artwork and I also do my craft work, which is my hand weaving. And so I like to balance those out and that's why I drill down month by month. The final piece of my three wave system is to use an to do app on my phone. So that's a day by day thing. So for example, in my monthly calendar, if I have said that I want to do two hours of tapestry today, then I'll put two hours of tapestry in my to do list. There are so many to do list apps on Android and Apple, but the one that I use is called any do and I'll put the link in the description box down below. So when it comes up, the notification comes up on your phone and then you can either snooze it or you can mark it as done. But that way you're just held accountable for certain tasks that you have along the way. Now I understand some people may think this is completely micromanaging and I would definitely agree with you, but I am a very organized person. I like to know exactly what I'm doing every single day. But if you don't need that level of organization, then feel free to do the yearly overview, step one, or you can even just do the month by month in step two. You don't have to go so far as to plan your day completely. So just take what you need out of it. And as I said, I've been using these techniques to help my stepdaughter Lily and she's getting that system in place. And hopefully in the future, that's going to help her get on top of her homework, know when assignments are due and not leaving things to the last minute. So please let me know in the comments down below how you keep organized and on top of all the things that you like to fit into your life. For me personally, the more organized I am, the less overwhelmed I feel. And to be fair, I was sick last week because I was feeling completely overwhelmed and getting back on track with my planning, making sure my calendar was all organized. That has really helped me with feeling less overwhelmed and more able to um, fit in more things into my day. So if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, even a tiny bit of inspiration, please click that like button and of course subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye.